in our children's moment, I want you to think about ideas you already have. Ideas about school, for instance. School isn't a great big building. It has a classroom filled with your friends, a teacher that gives awesome lessons. You go to science, you go to social studies, you go to art and music and PE. You have recess. I want you to think about ideas you already have in your mind about church, what church is like every single Sunday. It's on Sunday morning. You have a fantastic breakfast. You listen to an awesome sermon. You learn about Jesus and his love for you. You go to Sunday school with your friends. You have activities to do. In our Bible story, Jesus healed a blind man and the Pharisees were up in arms. You see, the Pharisees already had preconceived ideas about who the Messiah was gonna be. They knew where he was gonna come from. They knew what he was gonna say, what he was gonna look like, what he was gonna do. He certainly was not going to heal a blind man on the Sabbath because that would be against the law. Jesus, on the other hand, was very different from what the Pharisees knew the Messiah was gonna be like. So when they saw Jesus, they did not see the Messiah because the Messiah was going to fit into this mold that they already had in their mind. So when I stuffed the Play-Doh into the cookie cutter that's shaped like a kangaroo, we know exactly what's gonna come out. And the Pharisees, with their idea of who the Messiah was gonna be, knew exactly what he was gonna look like and, and say and where he was gonna come from. The problem is, Jesus did not fit the mold that the Pharisees already had in their mind. Just like right now, our school it's not exactly what we expect school to be like. Church, it's not exactly what we expect school to be like. But what we find out with the Pharisees is that even though Jesus wasn't exactly what they thought a Messiah should be, our Messiah was so much more than the expectation they had set in place. And so when we put him into who he actually was, we find out that there's so much more available to us. Just like today. Eh, this silly virus, it's kind of causing us to be cooped up. We're missing our friends or missing Sunday school activities. We're not sticking with the mold that we're used to. But just like Jesus, it can be so much more. And so the lesson is, is if we have these preconceived ideas of who or what something should be, we're missing out. Because just like Jesus was so much more of a Messiah than the Pharisees could even possibly begin to fit into their mold, this opportunity also can be so much more. We are called to be the hands and feet of Jesus. And if we stick with the mold that's in our minds, we're limited. But this opportunity provides us with a chance to be more. So you're already receiving kind of fun activities to do as a family for Sunday school, quote unquote. And starting Monday, you're gonna be getting fun activities to do during the week just probably one quick little activity. We're gonna see how we can expand on our lessons through science or history. You know, throw some school in there. Why not, right? We're gonna have activities, challenges, things to do 
that's going to help us to be the hands and feet of Jesus. Because it's time to step out of the mold and it's time to see how much more we can be. Are you gonna, do I need